that law enforcement have become frustrated at the lack of movement in the case. And I think some of that relates to what Keg and Klein told them, so I'll come on to that in a second. But there is a short clip here from Wish TV that I want to play some of it. Richard Allen's attorneys have been named now, and then I'm going to play a little bit about what happened shortly after the murders. Right now at 6 o'clock, breaking news from IT8 in the Delphi murders case, we now know who will represent the suspected the suspect charged with the 2017 killings. They are Logan Sport attorney Bradley Rossi and Franklin attorney Andrew Baldwin. Also new tonight, I Team 8 is told investigators believe that Richard Allen is the man on the bridge seen in the cell phone video. Allen also went to police shortly after the murders of Abby Williams and Libby German. I Team 8 Richard Essex is working this story for us tonight. <laughs> He told the officer that he'd been in the area that day, had even been out on the bridge, but he told the officer that he didn't see anything. We also heard that they may have looked at him like he didn't go to them, that he, you know, that people said, oh, I saw Alan there, and then they talked to him. But either way, it seemed to be a very cooperative, low-key initial contact. It was not contact that was, you know, combative and our understanding is that he was you know cooperative in the beginning and just sort of like oh yeah i was there like, let me let me tell you about my experience there and nothing to necessarily raise red flags so it appears that richard allen either went to the police or someone mentioned his name and they spoke to him but whichever way he was cooperative and he told a state conservation officer that, yeah, he was in the area. He was on the Morning High Bridge on the day of the killings, but he didn't see anything. So how did he feel when Libby's footage was released of the man walking, Bridge Guy, on Morning High Bridge? And the voice, was he terrified once that came out that he was going to be discovered? Or did he get something of a thrill from it? We don't know. Did he feel that his cooperation with the police had helped them let their guard down, that he was now beyond suspicion? Now, it's not unusual that a perpetrator will come forward and present themselves to the police in a cooperative manner, you know, as a potential witness, you know, saying, well, yeah, I was there at this time and I didn't see anything. 